all of us uh, would have used either this or this. So the one on the far side is compressed air driven nebulizer. The one closer is an oxygen driven nebulizer. Pretty sure all of us would have used uh, these day in day out. Have you ever wondered how these things uh, work? Welcome to another episode of uh, Duty. So over the next few minutes, we will uh, try to understand how exactly these uh, devices work. These uh, nebulizers come in various shapes and sizes according to the manufacturer's specifications. However, all of them have the same basic components. We have a tubing, one end of which, which is connected to a compressed air machine or a oxygen flow meter. So the other end is connected to the nebulizing chamber, which in turn is connected to either a mask, a mouthpiece, a reservoir bag or a T-piece, which will facilitate delivery of the nebulized solution into a ventilatory circuit. The nebulizing chamber is the most important component of this device. This is the site where two key physical principles come into play to make sure the device functions properly. The first one is a venture principle and the second one is the capillary angle. In this uh, line diagram which represents the internal components of a nebulizing chamber, we have the oxygen or the compressed uh, gas which is led into the chamber by a tubing present at the bottom. At the upper end of this tubing, there is an orifice which increases the velocity thereby producing the venturi effect. As a result of this, a subatmospheric pressure is generated. Adjacent to this is a capillary tube, the lower end of which is immersed in the solution contained in the chamber. The upper end is closer to the orifice. The subatmospheric pressure which is generated constantly suctions or uh, sucks up the fluid present in the chamber by capillary action. So the moment the liquid reaches the orifice, the jet shatters this liquid against the baffle present internally, generating the aerosols. This creates some mist which accumulates in the upper end of the chamber, subsequently moves on towards the patient. As mentioned earlier, these Venturi devices come in various shapes depending on the manufacturer's specifications. Here, we have chosen one such device. Only the nebulizing chamber is highlighted and the rest of the components are essentially the same. This line diagram here represents the internal mechanism of the nebulizing chamber. Oxygen is led from the tubing at the bottom. The pressure drop happens at the orifice generating subatmospheric pressure. Instead of a capillary tube, we have a cap which is highlighted in green color. The shape of it is confluent to the base and the orifice. It sits on top of that, providing a very small gap in between the two, which acts like a capillary tube. The fluid present in the chamber is continuously suctioned up in this uh, small gap towards the orifice. Upon reaching the orifice, the jet shatters this liquid against the baffle present internally to generate the aerosol and mist which subsequently moves on towards the patient. In this uh, scenario, we have a, a second make of a Venturi nebulizer. Again, as I mentioned earlier, only the chamber has been created. The line diagram here represents the internal functioning mechanism of this nebulizing chamber. The oxygen is led in by tubing at the bottom uh, to an orifice where venturi effect generates subatmospheric pressure. Unlike in the earlier situation, here we have a cylindrical cap 
with a flat bottom. This sits congruently on the bottom and the oxygen tubing leading onto the orifice, leaving behind a small gap between the two to act like a capillary tube. As the fluid is suctioned through this capillary tube towards the orifice, the jet shatters the liquid against the back body to generate aerosol, which subsequently moves on towards the patient. As mentioned earlier, these nebulizers come in various shapes. For the purpose of uh, explanation, we only chosen two of them. They can, they do come in several different shapes, but the essential working principle is the same. Venturi principle generating a pressure drop and a subatmospheric pressure. Capillary action suctioning the fluid presenting in the chamber towards the orifice. The jet shattering the liquid film into aerosol particles against an internal path. So hope uh, this was uh, useful and uh, thank you.